the Beatles, the most successful and popular band in music history. Up against the man they once idolised, the most successful solo artist ever, the King, Elvis Presley. Elvis and the Beatles have both had more UK number one hits than any other artist, and this week these pop stars of a bygone era are in a modern day chart battle. A new Elvis best of, accompanied by a prime time TV show. I thought, I can't believe this person who I never thought I met is singing that song to me. But on Monday, we get the first new wave of Beatles material in 19 years, which includes 23 unreleased recordings. This Elvis Presley album will probably get to number one simply because there's a big advertising spend, there's a big push from Sony Music for this album, there's an ITV special, fans have been voting for their favourite songs for the TV show. But with the Beatles album, yeah, it is slightly niche, but you have to remember that the last record in 94, volume one of these BBC sessions, sold over five million copies worldwide. The Beatles on air may well outsell Paul McCartney's latest album, but Macca says he doesn't mind. To come up with something new that's good is difficult because you're stacking them against the stuff you've done. Um, but you've got to just forget that. Outside, the crowd of Beatles fans have grown. The Beatles and Elvis have fan bases that to this day dwarf most others, but getting that UK number one spot will be tricky. The proliferation of digital downloads could tip the balance in favour of more current artists like Lady Gaga and Eminem. Elvis and the Beatles have endured in a way that no one could have imagined possible. Number one or not, they remain two of the most important acts of all time. Richard Suchet, Sky News.